Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here on my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Shop video today. Taking a go out today, see if things came out today, see if things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, some of the big things that are coming out today, well the one main really, really big thing coming out today is Wonder Woman 84. And with that one, I know there's a number of different retail exclusive editions of that. Like Target has an exclusive, um, one that has an exclusive slip cover. Uh, Best Buy has a Steelbook edition. I don't know for sure though if Walmart has anything exclusive for it or not. I don't believe so. It might, there might have like an exclusive, like sometimes they have exclusive covers on the DVD version sometimes like Walmart for their exclusives uh, also though at the uh, one of the other things coming out today is the film The Toll uh, also though at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray and 4K reviews some things I received to review and talk about for you guys so some really really cool stuff so definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video and as always too let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays and 4Ks that are reviewed in this video if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go. And looking over here though in the front, it looks like they did change out the new stuff. I had a feeling that they would since there were so many different things today. Like I was saying though, this is the exclusive today, the, the um, exclusive packaging for Wonder Woman. And it's a Blu-ray edition and that one is a $24.99. But that's a really cool uh, image on this one here. And then the, the regular edition here is a $24.99 for that one. And then the... Um, the DVD is a $17.99. Like I said, they sometimes the covers are different, so there's a chance that the Walmart one will have like a different image on this one, and this one has the special features on it. So sometimes the Walmart one doesn't include the special features disc, and it has like a different image on it. And then the 4K edition of the film is a $29.99 for that one. And then they also have this double feature one here, so it's only five dollars more for uh, you know the first film as well. So that's not a bad price, $29.99 if you guys don't have the first film already. So this is the double feature one. And then the, the original film is uh, $9.99 for the Blu-ray. Uh, Justice League, they have a DVD of that here for uh, $4.99. And then a DVD of Batman v Superman for $5. So they put some of the other ones here as well, like Shazam, a DVD of Shazam, $7.50. Aquaman Blu-ray for $9.99. Uh, this came out last Tuesday, uh, the Tom Hanks movie, News of the World. And then the, um, the DVD is uh, $19.99, and then the Blu-ray is uh, $24.99 for that one. But let's see, other than that though, I don't see anything else different here in the front. Let's look around the side. Yeah, it seems to be all the same things here for the most part. Let's see, just check over here just in case. Yeah, Back to the Future, Fast and Furious collection. Yeah, it seems to be all the same stuff, but we'll head over though to the actual section to see if there's anything else different over there though. Over here though in the actual section though, I don't see anything else different here besides what came out last Tuesday I didn't get to show uh, because I didn't get to go to the stores last Tuesday, but they have the Soul here, the ex Target exclusive one here for $34.99 for that one. But other than that though, I don't see anything else different here though in the actual section though. Into Walmart we go. But it's definitely a fingers crossed. Hopefully they have out the, the stuff in here today. I feel like they should because, you know, Wonder Woman is like a really, really big release. But this location, you never really know. So we'll definitely see, like I said, definitely fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, you know, Wonder Woman and stuff will be out in here. Because like I said, I'm definitely interested in seeing if they have any exclusives. I don't believe they do. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure though. But we'll see. All right, so I have not peeked yet. So fingers crossed. We're going to head over there and see. I'm seeing a lot of empty space. Yeah, there's a lot of empty spaces over here. And then let's see, no. I'm seeing, it was so crazy. You see the, the stand for Wonder Woman? You see all the spots and everything. Wonder Woman 84 uh, DVD, uh, 1696. Uh, uh, the uh, the Blu ray is 2496. And then the 4K is 2996. Uh, let's see, but they do have the toll out, which is kind of funny. They have that one out but they don't have wonder woman you would have thought that one it would have been like reversed but the toll that one here is a uh, 14.96 for the blu-ray and then 12.96 for the dvd and then you know last tuesday i was saying soul came out that's 24.99 uh 96 for the blu-ray and then 19.96 for the dvd other than that though here i think um this castlevania season three i think this may have been either t this week or it was um last tuesday that this one had released and that one is on 19.96 for that one Let's check on the side here, see if there's anything else different. So they do have a couple other things in here. Like I hadn't seen this out in here yet until now, Money Plane. And the Blu-ray is uh, $12.96 and then $9.96 for the DVD. This came out a week or two back. And then uh, Psycho Gorman, I hadn't seen this out in any of the locations yet till now either. And that one's $9.96. That was out a couple weeks back as well. Uh, one of the other ones that was a new one, I think this was last Tuesday, was one called Caged. 
Now, if you guys have seen this one, though, let me know if this one is worth checking out. I believe this one is only available on DVD. Out, DVD. I don't think there's a Blu-ray of that one. Let's see, though, over here as well, just to make sure there's nothing else mixed in. I don't see anything new here. Uh, and then in this section here, every so often, some random things are put in here, but so far, I'm not really seeing anything else different. Let's see up in here. Uh, this one, Blutter, Brother, uh, Brothers by Blood, uh, that's a newer one, but I don't think that was that recent. I think it was like a week or two back. Uh, this, I know this is one of the newer ones here. This one called Override, and that one is on $9.96 for that one. Uh, other than that, though, let's just see. Uh, I don't think there's anything else different here that I can see as far as I can tell, though. But yeah, though, I don't think I'm going to go to a uh, another Walmart today because it doesn't look like they're going to be having, you know, any exclusives for Wonder Woman 84. It seems like they're just going to have the regular editions because it didn't ha have anything on the spots there that said, like, exclusive or different prices or anything like that. The only thing, like I said, that might be different is they might have a different cover on there. Sometimes Walmart has an exclusive cover uh, on that one. So if you guys got to go to a Walmart and you saw them out in the, on the shelves, let me know if, it w if they did end up having a different cover for... Uh, the DVD and everything. But now though, we're gonna head over to uh, Best Buy. Into Best Buy we go. So we'll head back and see what they have. And I've noticed like a lot of the stores now have changed now. So it's like this one roll like this of movies. So they're kind of changing it all around and everything in these stores. So it's pretty much just like this one row of movies. But let's see over here though. So right here though, I don't see anything new in this spot. They usually put the new stuff in our here, but I can see behind me though, there is some new things changed out. Well, yeah, here, so they have all this stuff here. They actually have one of the steelbooks left. I wasn't sure, I had a feeling these were gonna go really, really fast. And the steelbook for this one here is a 34.99. It's a 4K Ultra HD steelbook. And then the standard 4K is 29.99. And then the uh, Blu-ray is 24.99 for that one. And then it's a 17.99 for the DVD. Other than that here though, I don't see anything else different right here. Like I said, since they changed it, it's like the section is like this here. So let's see if there's anything else different right here. The only thing different that I see though was the toll. And that one is uh, $16.99 for the Blu-ray of that one. But other than that though, like looking through here though, it seems to be all the same stuff. I don't see anything else different here. Oh yeah, this is one of the other ones that came out last Tuesday. And it's the... Um, the brand new Steelbook edition here of Friday the 13th Part 2, and that one is a $12.99, but that's a really good price for the Steelbook. I'm not sure if in here it has, this is the Scream Factory disc that's in here, or it's the um, the Paramount one. I believe it's the Paramount one in here. I don't think it's the Scream Factory one that has some of the other features on that one. But other than that, though, that seems to be all the different things here that I see today, though. I noticed over here as well too that they have some of these um these steelbooks are back in again these um monsters incorporated one and monsters yeah monsters university and monsters inc these are both 34.99 i think these ones came out a number of like a year or so back and then i think like we're out of print or you didn't see them in the stores anymore so funny to see these ones uh back in here but like i was saying though they definitely cut down the section and made it be just like this one long a uh, thing like this now it seems like that's how they're all starting to do it now from what i can tell it's going to be just down to this one long aisle like this and everything. But like I was saying, though, other than that, though, I didn't see anything else uh, different in here today, though. So anyway, though, guys, that was off my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, leave me comments below, though, and let me know, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD Blu-ray or 4K. If you guys ended up picking up anything uh, new today. Also, as well, too, let me know anything new you guys have checked out on streaming. Any new TV shows or any movies or anything like that that you guys have watched lately. As well as letting me know, too, what you guys thought of the DVDs. Blu-rays and 4Ks that are reviewed at the end of this video. If you guys have seen them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway though guys, now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shout Factory Scream Factory line. Now this is a film which I will say is probably one of the top creepiest films I've seen. Uh, next to Session 9, something about this movie, that, that both those, that Session 9 as well always really creeps me out. This is another one that really creeps me out, especially the scene in the vents. There's a scene where a character is going through these vents in the film and like for some reason that always creeps me out. There's just the whole vibe of this film is just really scary. And it's a movie here called Event Horizon. This is the brand new uh, collector's edition of the film. And this stars, you know, uh, Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. And this is basically, though, about this uh, ship that's up in space. It's, it gets a distress signal from a ship that had been missing for a number of years. And it was kind of like, it kind of mysteriously disappeared, this ship. And they're, like, going to investigate it. And they get, like I said, they go there, get this distress call. And, of course, they get to the ship. And they notice that it's, like, abandoned. And 
there like it looks like nothing no one has been there for years it's kind of like what has happened there and on the uh, ship there is this weird sort of spear uh, type thing and essentially though it's the second they get there weird sort of things start to happen and there's this sort of it's 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 sort of like a almost like a ghost kind of film you know it has like the vibe of a film like alien but it's done more like it's like a ghost type film with this ghostly spirit kind of weird sort of thing going on on the ship and it's a, like I said it's a really really creepy movie but if you guys have never seen this movie it's an absolute must watch uh, on here though it has a brand new uh, 4k scan from the original camera negative uh, the movie looks great here uh, and also has a commentary track on here with Paul W.S. Anderson as well as the producer it has the making of Event Horizon a five part documentary on here a theatrical trailer on here a video trailer a number of other featurettes as well on here like I said here and also too it also has um, reversible artwork on here as well for the like the original uh, poster uh, image for this one but like I was saying though if you guys have never seen this movie though an absolute must watch for just a very creepy film uh, the next ones here are both from uh, Arrow Video and these are ones that I just want you guys to know were available and the first one though is the um, the Invisible Man um, appears here and this one here was originally from uh, 1949 and this one has on here though uh, it has the uh, high definition transfers for both films on here so it has on here the Invisible Man appears it also includes the Invisible Man versus the Human Fly and like I said both of those ones has the high definition transfer on both of those it also includes original uh, lossless Japanese mono uh, audio on both films uh, optional English subtitles for both films has a brand uh, newly filmed interview with critic and genre film scholar Kim Newman on the history of the Invisible Man in cinema a theatrical trailer for the Invisible Man appears uh, image gallery for both films as well as a reversible sleeve uh, featuring uh, new artwork uh, as well on here but like I said just want you guys to know that this one was available from Arrow Video and it also has has in here too a booklet which has some information about the film uh, some stills all that kind of stuff here uh, as well and the other one here uh, from Arrow Video that I wanted you guys to know was available as well was the film here called uh, The Bloodhound and this one has on here though a brand new commentary track on here with the director uh, Patrick Picard and editor David and the editor in the film it has a on the trail of the bloodhound behind the scenes of a modern a chiller 45 minute, uh, 45 minute uh, making a featurette on here it has four experimental short films by the director on here uh, as well. I'll show you guys though a look inside. It also has a booklet in here which has some pictures from the film about the production and the cast and all that kind of stuff uh, as well here. And then uh, the next one here though, this is from uh, Lion's Gate. This is a movie here called uh, The Toll. And this is basically, though, about this guy who's like, a, you know, a, a rideshare ride share driver. And he ends up picking up this this woman, uh, you know, at the uh, airport to take her out to this... Like, she was taking her to, like, um, he was taking her out to... Uh, her father's house. It was kind of like out in the middle of nowhere, really far out and everything. So it was like a really long drive. So the guy like picked it too because he's like, oh yeah, it's going to be a really long drive. So he's going to make a lot of money and everything take, doing this drive. And of course, they go out there out in the middle of nowhere driving and the guy like turns down this one road and the woman's like, oh, well, I don't think that's the way you get to my dad father's house. I, I, normally you just go straight. And he's like, oh, well, the GPS, it's showing me to go this way. Does this look all right? I don't know. It's showing me how to go this way. Of course, they go down this way. Way. and then it's like one of these weird things the car ends up breaking down and it's like they end up finding themselves trapped out there so like she's like oh well uh, and she's also like doesn't really like the lift driver guy he's kind of acting a little strange and everything and so she doesn't really want to be in the car with him and, and she's like oh I'll, I'll just walk ahead I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead I'll start looking see if I can find anyone else around of course she goes and sees this area that says do not enter this area no matter what uh, of course she goes in there and sees this weird sign that says this person will get you if you go down there go Goes down that way and then immediately keeps walking and walking and then finds herself back where she started and it's basically going in this crazy loop and it's her trapped out there why there's some sort of this weird presence kind of person out there and it's her and the uh, the, the driver the rideshare driver trying to figure out exactly how they're gonna get out of this place and it's a really pretty creepy movie it was kind of reminding me a little bit a little bit of that film uh, Dead End you know with Lynn Shea it kind of had that vibe a little bit I always like those movies about people going out like on a road and then kind 
kind of getting trapped out there and like the road keeps going and that kind of stuff. But like I said, a pretty creepy movie. But this has on here though, feature wise, pl pl uh, the um, Paying the Toe Man uh, featurette on this one. And the next one here from Lionsgate as well, this is one that I just wanted to let you guys know is available. And I have some um, cool promo items here to show you guys that they sent over. But these are some promo items to promote the film uh, Dark Web uh, Cicada uh, 3301 here. This one released, I, I believe, about two weeks back. This one came out. But they sent over some like uh, promo items, like I was saying, to promote this one. And it's this coding uh, device here. So it's like the movie's all about coding and things like that. And, and it has in here like one of these kind of coders, like that has, and it says on here, Dark Web Cicada 3301. And it's one of those kind of things where you like move these and you do like secret codes and stuff like that. And they also had a, um, this was like a mastermind remastered and it's like code breaker uh code maker versus code breaker in here and it's like some kind of like a create your um can you crack the code or create a uh, create one that can't be cracked so it's like a coding a uh, type thing it's making me think too of um you know in christmas story when they had like that you know drink uh, uh over over teen kind of thing it's making me kind of think of that like when you use like the codes to figure that stuff out there's also a like a uh, cryptograms fi 500 large print cryptogram puzzles for brain games and it's like a um it's like um brain kind of puzzle kind of stuff in here as well stuff that i i know i'd never be able to figure out <laughs> out how to do you know because i i cannot think like this at all with this kind of stuff i'm sure i would never figure this stuff out but like i said just want to let you guys know uh that this one was available here you know dark web cicada 3301 and some really cool promo promotional items uh for that one and the next one here is from warner brothers they sent our free copy this one to let you guys know that this one is available and this is the uh, the 4k ultra hd edition which includes the 4k the blurry and the digital copy of wonder woman on uh, 1984 this is one that i watched on um hbo max when this one went went on and i like this movie i really love the first wonder woman woman movie so much i thought that was like a probably in my opinion was one of the uh top superhero movies in a really long time like i absolutely love that one like because when it comes to me when it comes to superhero films like i always i would say like batman films are like my top favorite uh especially the michael keaton ones and then in and then you know wonder woman in, in recent times and then the spider-man movies are probably like my favorite ones and i like i said i really love the wonder woman character and i, I love this one though because it's like you know wonder woman in, in the 80s and there's like great mall footage in here and everything it's basically though wonder woman there's two different villains in this film i don't want to ruin everything in this movie if you guys have not watched the film but there's two different villains in here and you know um Chris Pine's, you know, character is back. If you guys know, you know, something happened in the in the in the first movie, but Chris Pine's character has come back and like taken his like sort of essentially he's come back but in the body of someone else and everything. It's there's some sad stuff that happens in this movie though, but I thought this was a really really fun movie and I like I said I really liked the 80s setting on on here and if you guys have 4K capacities though, this is a movie though that is definitely one I would recommend for 4K. It's a really really super vibrant colorful film and like this one just really benefits on 4K. 4K. It has on here though, feature wise, it has a uh, scene studies, the mall and open road um, on here. It has the making of Wonder Woman 1984, expanding to uh, ex expanding to Wonder Woman, a number of other featurettes on here. It has on here, um, you know, uh, Gail and Cr uh, Kip Chrissy having fun, friends forever featurettes. So lots of different featurettes on this one here. But like I said, a really, really fun movie. Uh, the next one here is from uh, Universal and it's a film here called uh, Our Friend, which stars Jason Siegel, uh, Dakota Johnson and Casey Affleck. And this is basically, though, about, you know, um, uh, you know, Casey Affleck and Dakota Johnson's characters are, are married, and Dakota Johnson, you know, finds out that she has terminal cancer, and it's basically, though, it's a really, really sad uh, film. Uh, and it's basically, though, Jason Segel is friends with both of them, and when she finds out that she's really sick, you know, he comes to, to, to basically help take care of her and help her while she's going through what, she, you know, what she's going through and everything. And it's just, like I said, it's this character piece, but it's a really, really, really sad, but really well acted character piece. Uh, everyone in here did a great job. Like I said, just, you know, just, just one of those movies that you go into it knowing it's a very, very sad film, but like really, really well done and everything. Uh, it has on here though, feature wise, it has behind the scenes uh, with the cast and crew on this one.
And the next one I got here is from Kino Larber, and this is the 4K Ultra HD edition here, which includes the 4K and the Blu-ray copy of Mel Brooks' Spaceballs. This is a film, though, I absolutely love this movie. I have watched this movie so many times throughout the years. Like, when I think of, like, parody films, I would say probably this is my favorite next to Scary Movie. Like, those are probably the ones that I've watched the most. Uh, this, Like I said, this one, though, is just such a fun movie and has such a great cast, because it has in here Mel Brooks, and Mel Brooks is playing, like, a parody of um, Yoda. Uh, John Candy is in here playing a, you know, a parody of um, uh, Chewbacca. Rick Moranis is playing, you know, the Darth Vader character, playing this, you know, wearing this enormous uh, helmet that keeps falling over his face and everything. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Joan Rivers is in here. Uh, you know, all kinds of different great people. Bill uh, Bill Pullman is in here playing a parody, you know, of a Han Solo's character. And it's essentially, though, like I said, it's a, a parody of Star Wars. And it's essentially, though, about the princess that has been kidnapped by Rick Moranis' character and, you know, uh, Bill Pullman's character and John Candy's character have to go on this mission to go and rescue her and get her back and all that kind of stuff. And it ends up being all these type of problems that they run into along the way. And it's like, oh, it's like, it's like I said, it is a, a outstanding movie. And it's one of those movies, if you guys have never watched this film, this is an absolute must watch. And especially, too, if you have never seen it before and you guys have 4K, uh, this is like, looks amazing on 4K, like Kino did such a great job cleaning up this film so it's definitely a great upgrade if you guys have 4k capacities on here though feature wise this has a commentary track on here by mel brooks it has force yourself featurette Spaceballs, the documentary uh in conversation with mel brooks and the co-writer on here uh film flubs uh it has uh, storyboards to film comparison comparison on here exhibitor trailer with uh, mel brooks introduction image galleries theatrical trailer teaser uh trailer on here and like i said it includes the um the blu-ray and and the 4K copy uh, of the film. But like I said, if you guys have never watched this movie, definitely an absolute must watch. Uh, the next one here is one that I had never seen before. And I remember always seeing the cover for this one. It's a movie here called The Wildlife, which stars uh, Chris Penn, Leah Thompson, has Jenny Wright in here, Eric Stoltz, um, Rick Moranis, uh, Randy Quaid. And, you know, and, and this was shot, like, around the same time that uh, Back to the Future was done. And you can really see, too, how Eric Stoltz was, you know, was cast originally as, you know, Marty McFly. Like, you can really see he, he, he really looked a lot, too, especially at this time, like Crispin Glover. Like, he could have been related to Crispin Glover. So you could really see this, because this is definitely shot, like, literally right when he probably was going to, was sh shooting, like, the first month or so on Back to the Future before he ended up getting replaced with, you know, Michael J. Fox. It's just an interesting thing to, to see because it's like he really had that look at this time and this is essentially though it's a coming of age film and it's about you know um it's kind of about like dating and you know it follows around uh, Chris Penn's character and he's like the kind of cool guy and this is you know before uh you know Sean Penn really I think this is like right I think this might have been like Right around the same time, or like a year or two after, uh, was um, Faster on Ridgemont High. But it's, it, this has a Ridgemont High kind of vibe. This is from 1984. But it's, uh, it's basically, though, like a coming-of-age film. But it's a really fun movie. And like I said, I'm glad to have finally seen this movie. Uh, Sherilyn Finn is also in this movie. Uh, Randy Quaid. Uh, Rick Moranis is in here playing the one's boss, working at this um, uh, this. Um, kind of clothing store and everything but it's a great movie if you guys have never watched this one this is absolutely a must watch has a commentary track on here with writer and podcaster on here mike brandero uh author of teen movie hell uh it also has an interview on here with co-star ian michael smith uh radio spots and a theatrical trailer on this one uh the next one here is from kino larber as well and it's a movie here called north shore which stars uh, matt adler and nina peoples and this one is basically though about a guy who's going to where they have like this area where it's like this crazy surf, like surfing in these huge waves and everything. And they have like, um, you know, surfing competitions and stuff like that. And this is from 1987. And this is around this time they were doing a lot of like competition movies, like uh, BMX kind of movies and racing films and like uh, skiing movies and th those kind of movies, like th that type of stuff. And around that time they were doing a lot of stuff like that about competitions and stuff like that. And this one was about this surfing competition and about the one who was trying to become like the champion and everything and like learn the whole thing and learning like you know what it was like to work with the people out there they were like training for this competition and kind of the way that they treat each other and all that kind of stuff in here but it was a, it was a really fun movie it has on here though a commentary track on here with the director as well as the executive producer it has north shore unscripted uh taking talking at home with the director and cast uh, has deleted scenes alternate ending and a theatrical trailer on this one and the last one from kino larber and this is a fun movie uh this is you know um a movie here called the time travelers and this is you know 
This was from 1964. And this is basically one of those kind of crazy, like kind of time travel type movies, like this place where they, they were doing like experiments to kind of like you know, expand time and stuff like that. And they end up like opening up this portal where they can actually walk into this, th this dimension that they have opened and they kind of go into this. And it's like this weird land of these weird type of these creatures, these deformed kind of creatures that are there kind of coming after them and everything. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to get back to, you know, earth and everything. It's a really fun, you know, crazy movie. It has on here though, feature wise, it has a theatrical trailer on this one. Uh, the next one here is from, uh, from, Screen Media, and this is one I just finished watching now, and this one stars uh, Brent, Brenton Thought. Thal I never know how to say his last name. Thoughties. Uh, Jane Levy is in this movie. Uh, Zachary Levy is in this movie. Uh, you know, Karen Son Isani, you know, from. Um, Deadpool. This is a fun movie. It's called Office Uprising. It kind of has the vibe of um, the Belco Experiment and Mayhem. If you guys have seen both of those films, it has that similar kind of feel uh, to it. And it's basically, though, about this... Um, it's kind of it also has like an office space kind of feel as well. It's about people who work at this office where they do like um, uh, you know the, uh, manufacture like weapons for the government and the army and things like that, and they kind of kind of like test them out and uh you know but they do it for like the corporate world as well and they ended up getting sent this shipment of this weird kind of like um soda this jo called zolt uh soda and essentially though what ends up happening though is uh the people that work there end up drinking it and it ends up turning them into these crazed like zombies kind of like the crazies they end up going like ballistically nuts and everything and they end up getting locked down in there because if somebody throws something at the window and the place has like all this security system so they all end up getting trapped in there and if follows the one the main group of people who are all in there trying to survive and trying to figure out how they're going to get out of there because these are people who did not drink the the soda stuff and the one jane levy's character she drank like a little bit so she's sort of changing a little bit and going crazy and trying not to so it's basically though about them all in there trying to figure out how they're going to get out, out the, the main people that didn't drink the soda figuring out how they're going to get out of this place and survive and everything and it's like i said if you if you guys are fans of um the belco experiment and mayhem it has that similar kind of feel to it but a lot of character actors to pop up in here but really like this one a lot really fun movie uh the next ones here these are all from um uh, moviezing.com and they're also from the warner archive and this is a movie which i always really liked and it's a movie which stars bill murray uh gina davis randy quaid and jason R roberts and it's a movie here called quick change and this is a film that you really don't hear about this too often it's like another one around the same time that was called i think like three fugitives and that's another one that you don't hear about too often as well there was around like a similar I think it came out like around the same time as this one and that was another bank robbery film and this is basically though about playing this whole bank robbery and it's kind of this whole crazy scheme that they have, you know, they have planned for doing this and everything. And it's kind of like everything that can, can go wrong with it goes wrong. And it's basically them trying to figure out how they're going to get away and people coming after them. And it's kind of like I said, it's all kind of problems, every, every kind of ridiculous problem that can happen. And this one is also uh, Bill Murray was also the... Um, a co-director on this movie, but a really, really fun movie here. If you guys have never seen this one, uh, the other one here from um, the Warner Archive is one here. I want you guys to know is available, and this is the um, uh, you know the film Chariots of Fire. And this is the one too that ha is famous for having the the music in here by the Vangles, and, and they and they use you know the a parody of this in um, National Lampoon's Vacation. You know when they were running, they use like the Vangles um, music. Vangles did the music as well in Blade Runner. Always really cool, like, synth music that they did. Uh, similar in style to, like, Tangerine Dream. That's a similar vibe. And this is all about, you know, the... Um you know, the uh, 1924 Olympic Games and kind of about the training and all that kind of stuff for it. And this has on here, feature-wise, four documentaries on here. It uh, has on here, um, you know, Paris 1924, Birth of Modern Games, um, uh, David Putnam, a cinematic champion, Wings on the Heels, The Making of Chariots of Fire, and uh, Chariots of Fire, A Reunion. It also has an interview on here with the director, commentary track on here with the director, deleted scene, screen test on this one as well. So lots of features uh, on this one. And the other one here from the Warner Arc, archive and from movie zing as well that i want you guys to know is available and this one is available on 4k now this one though keep in mind it only includes the 4k ultra hd edition of the film it doesn't have a blu-ray so it only has the 4k and then a digital copy of the film and this is you know um batman uh, v superman dawn of justice the ultimate edition here and this is you know the um the r-rated cut of the film here on 4k this one has on here feature-wise, though. It has an introduction and commentary by director Jack Snyder, uh, by director yeah, Zack Snyder. But this, I really like this movie. I thought this was actually a really cool movie. I especially liked 
you know the uh, the uh, the R-rated cut of the film uh, more for this one. Like I said, though, I want to let you guys know that this one's available. If you guys are a fan of Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, this is available on 4K. Like I said, just just keep in mind though, it only includes the um, the 4K on here, not a Blu-ray copy. So it has the 4K and a digital copy of the film. And the next one I got here is from Gravitas Ventures. It's a movie here called Hell Trip. And this is basically though about a you know a group of tourists who are going to Africa for a trip and everything out there, and they were kind of going and looking, you know at like kind of like weird abandoned areas and stuff like that and they end up getting to this lodge which is in an area kind of out in the middle of nowhere there's like nothing out there around they don't see anything else out there there's hardly anyone out in this area and of course though it's you know one of those things where you know that you know, this area seems like this there's nothing there the place seems really weird you know that things are not going to be good and it's essentially though they, they get there and really weird sort of things start to happen to them and it's kind of about them trying to figure out how they're going to get away from, from where they are and everything because like I said they're out in the middle of nowhere and everything like that so it's a real crazy pretty creepy movie here like i said this one here is called hell trip and the other one here from uh, gravitas ventures as well is a movie here called the arbors I think that's how you say that yeah the arbors and it's basically though this is about like this you know set in this town like this farming kind of town out in the middle of nowhere and this guy ends up coming across this weird type of like this creature thing and it's kind of like this weird creature thing that he discovers it's one of those kind of things where, like, you know, it looks as if he's like, oh, I found this thing, I discovered this thing, and it's like kind of like he wants to keep this thing. But then he starts to kind of realize that around him and stuff like that, people are starting to die, and bad things are happening to people, and it's looking as if it has to do with this creature. So it's kind of like he's trying to figure out exactly what is the meaning of this creature and, and like, kind of how to stop this thing, too, because it's getting, like, crazy in one of these kind of situations and everything like that. But this is actually a pretty cool uh, creature film here, like I said, called The Arbors. And the next one here is from... Uh, um, uh, this is from, you know, uh, Unearthed Films. And this is a movie which I had heard about for years and years. It's one of those movies that is like a super uh, shocking movie that is like insane what happens in this movie. Uh, everything about this movie. But it's one of those ones when they talk about like shocking movies or like films. They always talk about films like um, Cannibal, you know, uh, Holocaust uh, and things like that. And this And this is another film. Asylo is another one you hear about a lot. And this is another one that you hear about all the time. And this is the, um, you know, uh, the brand new edition here of a Serbian film. Like I said, this is one of those movies that you always hear about when it comes to, like, things that are really shocking and shocking movies. And, yes, this is, it is a very, very super shocking movie about this guy who's, like, this adult film star. And he's kind of, like, brought in to this movie. And he's kind of told that dude, he has to do what they say and everything. And it's, like, what they're saying is, like, awful. And it's, like, gets worse and worse and worse and more. More, more terrible as it goes along. Like I said, this is a one of those movies that is like a really hard to watch in the style too of like something like Human Centipede and one of those type of films. It has on here though, feature wise, it has a commentary track on here uh, with the director. It has a commentary track on here with Joe Lynch and Adam Green of the movie C uh, Crypt. It has a Q and A on here, a Q and A from Brussels International Film Festival. Uh, it has a behind the scenes on here, a Serbian documentary preview, the, a photo gallery trailer. So lots and lots of uh, features on this one here as well. It also has reversible uh, artwork uh, on this one here. The next one here, this is from um, uh, this is from Via uh, Vision. And this one, though, keep in mind, though, this one is um, region, uh, you know, in the uh, PAL format, and it's region 4, so you guys would have to have a region-free DVD player to play this one, so just keep that in mind. And this is a show which I believe this is in the U.S. It airs on, on Peacock, the Peacock streaming service is where I believe that I saw this was it, it plays. And this is a show which stars David Swimmer called Intelligence, and this is the complete first season of the show. And this is basically, though, kind of like an, um, an MI, uh, MI5, kind of like Mission Impossible kind of show, uh, kind of a pair of that type of thing and it's basically though David Swimmer's character goes to the UK to like work at the crime division there at the MI, yeah, MI5 kind of place and it's kind of like the, um, the person he works with there and they have like these kind of problems and the issues that are going on there and it, and it has vibes of stuff like Get Smart and all those kind of like crime like I said Mission Impossible kind of ones but like with like a com like more of a comedy aspect to it but a pretty fun show and this has you know the, um, the complete first season here and it's a one uh, disc uh, set here for this one and the next one I got here is from Troma it's a movie here called Dolly Deadly and this one is basically though about this kid who lives in this trailer with his parents and everything and he really has he has a collection of dolls and he's always playing with these dolls and everything and his father is giving him all these griefs saying oh you shouldn't be playing with dolls and giving him all these problems and everything and essentially though you know they're pretty much his only friends are these dolls he's always talking to these dolls and everything and something ends up happening and he's and it kind of like um 
he ends up like the dolls are starting to kind of like tell him to do things and he ends up pretty much cracking up and ends up becoming like you know kind of like a child's play but instead of like the doll it's like him and he kind of cracks up and he like goes like you know basically he starts killing people and that's essentially what goes on here is he just kind of loses it uh this is a really really fun movie uh and i, I also has a great introduction that's one thing with trauma uh, blu-rays i always like too is that they always have introductions that lloyd kaufman does and ha this has a great introduction on here as well so i always love that that's the one thing I always look forward to with trauma Blu-rays and stuff is the introduction that Lloyd Kaufman does. But on here, though, feature-wise, this has a Dolly Deadly uh, concept teaser on here. It has some. Uh, it has um, Gora, the TV guy, part one and two, and a video blog on here as well. The next one here, this is from uh, SRS Cinema. This is a movie here called Conga TNT. This is a fun, uh, gi crazy, giant killer gorilla movie. And it's basically, though, about, like, this gorilla that, you know, ends up, like, escaping, you know... Um, Basically, this gorilla's escape with this, you know, in injected with this weird kind of concoction, uh, and it ends up escaping and ends up becoming friends with these kids. And it basically, though, the, the gorilla though ends up like growing and then kind of going crazy, and then kind of like they have to try and stop this gorilla and try and, you know, basically figure out what they're gonna do because it was injected with this weird type of formula from an alien ship and everything. It's like, like I said, it's a crazy killer gorilla movie, but really, really fun movie. Has a commentary track on here, music video, trailers, and more uh, on this one. The next ones here are both from Altered uh, Innocence, and it's two different documentaries here uh, from them. The first one is one here called Queer Japan, and this is a documentary all about, you know, the LGBTQ culture in Japan. It's kind of like talking about the people that are gay and lesbian in Japan and, like, the um, the clubs and the whole culture there and, you know, pride parades and all that kind of stuff and kind of talking to people that are there and kind of people that work in the bars there and, and all that kind of stuff. It's a really, really well done. A documentary on here and on here though feature wise it has bonus scenes it has a short film on here it has a theatrical trailer as well as other trailers for Altered Innocence releases and the other documentary is one here called Madam and this one is about this um, documentary about this guy who was you know you know follow he basically has all this great footage of his grandmother and, you know, um, who was pretty much the woman who raised him. It's like kind of her throughout the years and this video and uh, audio files of her talking about her life and everything. And it's kind of talks about him as he was, you know, coming out as gay and his life and then her life. And it's kind of a, it basically talks about himself and her, his grandmother. And it's just really well done in the way it's all put together and everything. On here, though, it has a short film on here, a few different, different short films. I think it has... Um, it has yeah so the one short film it has Robin and Caroline when you're truly young the hairdressing contest as the uh, theatrical trailer and other trailers on this one uh, as well and the next one here ones here are both from Eureka Entertainment now keep in mind though these ones are both uh, region B locked so you guys would have to have an all region uh, Blu-ray player to play these ones and the first one here is a movie here called Pulse this is a movie which I always liked and it deals with like this family that's dealing with like that their life is kind of pretty much a living hell because there's like something within the electricity uh, and it's kind of making the house it's kind of like a poltergeist kind of thing in a, a little bit and the, the electricity is kind of like making the house go crazy and like, like making you know causing all these kind of problems and everything it's like this basically the the the, the bad guy in the movie is the electricity it's a crazy movie uh, this one has on here feature wise a commentary by author and film historian Amanda Ray's uh, turning into tech horror a tech horror a video essay by writer and film historian Lee Gambin has a collector's booklet on here with video essays on here. And here's a look, though, inside, and it has an alternate artwork on here. And inside, there's also, like I was saying, a booklet in here. So stuff about the film and the production and that kind of stuff. And the other one here from uh, Eureka Entertainment as well is a movie here called uh, Breeder. And I'll show you guys a little look at this one. And this one has on here, though, uh, feature-wise, this has a um, you know English optional English subtitles, interview with um, the director and screenwriter on this one, and it has a uh, collector's booklet in here uh, as well. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here uh, at this one here as well. Like I said, though, just want you guys to know that this one was available as well from uh, Eureka Entertainment.
And the next one I got here is from Time Life Releasing, and this is one that I just want you guys to know is available. This is the Austin City Limits Country Collection here, and I'll show you guys though a look at this set. And this is a 10 disc uh, collection here, and this is uh, each uh, set here has five uh, different uh, discs in this one, and they each feature 82 live and uncut performances on these ones. And I'll let you guys know some of the ones that are on here because it has a booklet which lets you know you know some of the performances that are in here, uh, stuff about the um, the show and the performances and that kind. Of stuff but some of the people that are on here is like um let's see the um uh, uh marty robbins in here chris christopherson uh johnny lee um let's see any other ones uh roger miller and willie nelson george Strait. uh let's see dwight yoakam uh so lots of different people patty loveless in here and it sh shows you all it has like episode guide throughout the years and all that kind of stuff but a really really cool uh, collection here like I said just one of you guys know that this one was available from Time Life anyway though guys that was all for the review portion of this video and like I always say if you guys enjoy these shopping videos I uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later bye